wanted to tell you a little bit about the program. It's called Yes, yes Your Educational Success. And this is um, a program that was started through a grant from Capital Workforce Partners, Hartford Hospital, and Capital Community College. And these are um, 16 students. They all happen to be female, but we do have male students as well. And they decided to do a community service project to develop their skills in um, public relations and planning um, to work with the community and, and better something themselves and the world around them. They chose Thurman Milner School, planned this in stages over several months, and then we came for the last four weeks um, and have been preparing the grounds and putting in gardens um, and just working together to make this happen with the community. We've had a lot of community support as well. People have come out and drove to support us today. So the idea is that we're going to continue to do this as the YES program, and we're looking for new people to bring into the program. Um, the components are um, the community service component, the college component. They're all Capital Community College students, and they really work together as a team to make things happen. That's great, absolutely great. Well, I, I'm very honored and proud to be here today, uh, not only because I'm a Capital Community College graduate, but also just to see the real effort that they're putting into this project. And, you know, we have a lot of needs in our city in terms of public engagement and engaging our community and our partners. And you pretty much summed it up. It's about different organizations working together, linking up with one another, and make it, making it not only a good learning experience for our students, but also uh, getting them actively engaged into building and rebuilding. Uh, you know, we're facing some very difficult fiscal challenges, so to the extent that the community can become strong partners in building uh, these type of relationships and, and putting their effort into it, uh, you can start to see how beautiful things are looking. I was here a couple of weeks ago, and it's incredible. They've gotten a lot of graffiti off the boards. They're doing a lot of major cleanup, just the landscaping. And I asked one of the young men that was here, he was about nine years old, so how, do, how does it feel like for this to be happening? And they were telling me, well, it feels really good to see everything clean and with nice flowers. So I think this is what the community wants. And I think that um, one of the things that I'm seeing more and more is that the community is willing to be active participants, that, they, that they're not just demanding cleaner and safer environments. They're saying, we, we want to be a part of it. This is our community. We want to be a part of it. So the public engagement and the civic engagement piece is very important, but the collaboration is also important. And to use and harness the energy of our young students, that's, you know, so you bring all these things together, and people are having a lot of fun. Uh, but more importantly, I'm, I'm sure that the hundreds and hundreds of students and families that come to the school will be very appreciative. So thank you for your efforts, and I really congratulate you on your leadership in bringing everybody together. Yeah, it was definitely a group effort. So the thanks should go to the students because all of them are amazing women who have really pulled together to make this happen. And I couldn't be who I was without them. You know, they're, they're just a strong group of people, and we continue to grow. And as we do, we hope to find new people in the community that are willing to say, yes, we can. Yes, we can do this. And that's what it's about. I think the other thing also is that um, it makes Capital Community College also a more attractive institution because I think anybody that's on the outside looking in and see that the college is a community college in the sense that it's just not a college that's located in a community. It's a community college because it's part of the community and it's working with the community because I know the college has numerous programs going on. We're now working with the college as a partner on the public safety area to help us build a public safety academy, uh, hopefully with a high school program that linkages onto college. I know that we're doing that also with nursing, with Hartford High School and the Nursing Institute. So hopefully we can continue to have a, a perfect perfect marriage between the institutions and work collaboratively to resolve the many challenges that we have. Yeah, and we, we will continue to work on that as well. The other thing that this group is taking on next is they're going to do some work to raise money for the Capital Community College Foundation yes, yes. Um, that gives scholarships. Absolutely. And a lot of people don't even know that that foundation exists, but it's amazing um, in what they do to, to help students reach those goals that they may not have been able to do without a degree. So I think you'll see more of our group in the community as we move forward and we hope that again people will come out and support us Absolutely. and join us in this effort because this YES program is amazing and it's going to do wonderful things for the city of Hartford. Yeah, well, I look forward to being a partner and working with it and working with the foundation. I know that we have the Changing Lives Gala every year. That November I participate. 3rd. I participate. <laughs> I was one of the speakers one year for that program because it is an institution that can save lives. I mean I personally I, I would know where I could potentially be at if it wasn't for the support that I got at Capital very early on 
and it was not just a, a place of education for me, it was, it was a home. It was a home. So we have to continue to try to raise funds, work with the, non, uh, with the philanthropic institutions to get as much support as possible so that we can provide assistance to those students that otherwise wouldn't have an opportunity of attending. That's right, and we're going to give back everything that we get at Capital. We're giving Absolutely. back to the community in return. Many times over. That's what it's about. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Bye -bye. Thank you for coming. I heard about this, um, the school that they selected to do the service project. I was overjoyed and more than willing to participate because I used to attend um, Thurman Milner, which was, when it was just Vine Street School. I don't want to say how many years ago that was, <laughs> but this is um, what you could say my own alma mater because I went to, I lived in this neighborhood and I went to the school when it was just Vine Street School and not Thurman Milner, but it was, it was, um, I was more than happy to come out and um, show my support for the school and the neighborhood.